Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to see all signed-in users in Windows 10 or 11. Some of these will also work, for example, the command prompt in Windows 7 as well. So basically you can take a look at who's logged in and in some situations you can actually manage them too. Let's get right into it with one of the most obvious ways and that's the Start button. Just click on your Start button and your users are listed right here. This is super easy and the best way to do it because it's right there. And if you right click, you can change account settings, lock the user, or sign the user out. So that's one of my favorite ways to do it. It's right there all the time for you. Another thing you could do is Task Manager. So we want to do the Windows key plus X. Click on Task Manager. And once it's open, all you got to do is jump over to the Users tab. And that will show you everybody on there. Let me move this over a little bit just like that so your tabs are either going to be at the top depending on the size of your window or on the left over here there's performance app history and users right here so again it's either across the top or on the left and there I am you can manage user accounts from here disconnect the user run a new task As you can see, you can also do manage user accounts here, same thing. Each one's a little different. I think you'll agree that the start menu is a little easier from here. Now, of course, we want to get a little geeky with it, and that means we're going to play with the command prompt. Why not? So you can open Windows Terminal, PowerShell, or the command prompt. Let's just do the Windows key plus X. You might see different things. You might see PowerShell. I always run as admin by default. You might see Windows Terminal. You can click that. And let's bring it up here. And to list users really easy, you just type in net space users. Net space users. And there you go. Now, PowerShell users can use this code, which you can find down in the video description, but it's obviously a lot more difficult. If you didn't know, if it's a PowerShell command, it has to be in PowerShell. If it's a command prompt command it almost always will run in PowerShell Windows Terminal and obviously the command prompt so again net users a lot easier another thing you can do is maybe you want to get all the details all you got to do is type in now that you know the username Tim net user we're going to type in net space user we're gonna spell it right and then you just type in the name of the user you want the details on once you've done that press enter and there you have it Active account, passwords, very handy to know when the passwords were last set or changed. Neat stuff. And there you have it. There's three ways, there might be more, that you can see all signed in users and, of course, in some cases, manage those users, sign them out, etc. Pretty neat. And we have down here at the bottom always similar articles. For example, three ways to log off a user, create a guest account see what type of user accounts there. These are all real handy and kind of sync in with this particular tutorial. And there you go. That's how you can see all sign-in users in Windows 10 and 11. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.